Lieutenant Mayor. two decision over Fort Wayne. Louisville has not played in a week. Their last two games, a 7-2 win over Toledo and a 6-1 decision against Memphis. Starting the game for Louisville up front, Zoran Savick and Jim Gabera are your forwards with Chris Hillenkamp at midfield. Keith Tozer and Saeed Bakhtiari on defense. The front line for Canton, your forwards are Steve Maurer and Kia, Don Tobin at midfield with Oscar Pisano and Tom Kondrich on defense. The Invaders will attack from our right to our left in the first period. Thunder drops a kick back to Tozer. Ahead, Helen Camp, the feed to Savick. Helen Camp, centering pass, loose, knocked away by Don Tobin. And the outlet on the left side at the Invader red line comes to Steve Maurer, and now back inside the defensive zone to Condridge. He pushes it over on the right side of the floor for Oscar Pisano. Savick and Gabera pick up on D. Pisano ahead to Maurer. Maurer matched up with Tozer. And Maurer tried to bounce it off the wall for Kia, but the keeper, Petroni, stepped in front of that and gathered it in. Petroni, outlet short on the left side to the fans' favorite, Keith Tozer. And uh, Pisano with a deflection away from Savick, but Helen Camp gets it back for Louisville. Now back to Yari. Up the left side of the floor at midfield to Keith Tozer. Tozer on the dead run ahead. Savick with a shot, hit the crossbar. The rebound comes all the way out on the right point to Chris Helen Camp. Maurer with a deflection from behind, but Helen Camp moves along the boards in the corner. Wall pass is scooped up by uh, Nomofsky before Gabera was coming in on the left post. Outlet on the right side to Oscar Pisano. Invaders come out of their defensive zone. We played a minute, two seconds of the first period. No score. Long lead ball in the Louisville end. Right corner is Maurer. Back to the net against Tozer. Maurer looking for a feed out front. Crosses with Don Tobin. Tobin leaves it, and it's taken away. Here comes Gabera, the Thunder, to attack three on two. Gabera to Tozer on the right side. Centering pass a little bit too far for 
Helen Camp and the wall pass knocked away. Now Savick wants Tozer and the ball deflected by Tom Condridge. And here comes Pisano out with it for the Invaders. Oscar across the red line. Savick up on the midfield stripe to pick him up. The Invaders want a line change. Here comes Art Kramer onto the floor for Canton. Steve Frick and Rudy Pikasinski, that front line, and it'll be Schlotthauer and Timo on defense. Rudy in the Louisville and now on the left point area to Kramer. Kramer to Tima. Tima up the right side in the corner, centering pass blocked by Bakhtiari, and it squirts in the goal area and is picked up by Petroni. Petroni rolls the outlet short on the left side of the floor to Zorn Savick. And now the Thunder will change lines. Glenn Irvine, a former invader, also a former Kalamazoo kangaroo, is in on defense. And they shovel it up the floor for Caleb Surrey. Long lead pass. It's taken to the corner by Kareem Moribet. Moribet dishes back to Surrey. And now at midfield on the left side, it's Glenn Irvine. Irvine with a big left-footed shot similar to Walt Schlotthauer. Pick Kaczynski and Moribet fight for the ball. And Schlotthauer comes in with a little bit of contact. The first foul of the period goes against the Invaders on Walt Schlotthauer. 12.32 to play. Savick tried to get it in, and Schlotthauer deflects it out of the goal area, headed in the air by Pikasinski, and Kramer heads it to midfield. Petroni will flag that down and shovel it back in the invader end. There's nobody there for Louisville. Schlotthauer picks up the loose ball for the invader. Walter out edge of the midfield circle, crosses with Kramer, now feeds Kramer on the right side at midfield, and back at the edge of the center circle to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer sends it long into the corner on the right side for Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net against Irvine, looking for a feed out front. And he finds Frick. Frick is taken down, and oh, they call it on Steve Frick. Frick was hauled down from behind by Janusz Mahalik, but Fricky gets the foul, and there's the third foul on Canton as Kramer collides at the other end with Caleb Surrey. So the Invaders, three team fouls early in the game, 11.54 to play. And uh, they are in, got to watch it the rest of the period. They do not want to incur that six foul penalty. Surrey will put the ball in play for Louisville. Now he crosses over Irvine with a shot just wide to the right side. And Pikasinski bounces the rebound off the boards, collides with a man, and he sends it up the floor, and it's going to be a three-line violation. He wanted Steve Frick, but the ball was a little bit too long. Surrey to put it in play from the Canton red line, feeds left side to Irvine. He will fire, hit the post. Rebound comes out front to Moribet. Centering ball knocked away, shot, score! The goal by Tim Sedlicek, former Milwaukee Wave player. And Louisville leads one to nothing with 11.40 to play. The time of the goal will be 3.20 of the first period, and the Thunder takes the lead one to nothing. That is the fourth goal on the season for Sedlicek. And the assist on that will go to number nine, Kareem Moribet. That's his third assist of the year. The Invaders take it into the Louisville end. Now Tozer will come out with it. Tozer, working on Kia, trying to get outside the red line, does. And it's taken away. Kia deflects to Kondrich at midfield. Tomo on the run. Feeds behind Moyer, uh, rather Maurer. Maurer working against Paul Cato. And out front now, left side at midfield. It comes to Don Tobin. He backs it up to Oscar Pisano in the center of the floor. 1-0 Louisville, 11.07 to play in the first period. Kia working in the corner, sends it across the penalty area. Maurer dumps it in, and Petroni out of the net sends it long, and it will be flagged down in the invader end by Oscar Pisano. Sedlicek the goal, Moribet the assist at 3.20, and the Thunder with a 1-0 lead here. Don Tobin off the left sideboards. Maurer working back to the net in the corner against Cato. Across the floor on the right side to Tomo Kondrich. Kondrich, couple of steps in on Savick. He shoots, and Petroni goes down to his right to make the save and then gathers in the loose ball before Maurer arrived on the scene. Petroni will put it on the floor and send it ahead to Zoran Savick. One touch right back to the Thunder keeper, and Petroni comes out to the red line, across the red line, sends it long, wanted Gabera. Gabera and Pisano on the left side. Oscar sends it out, and Helen Camp flags it down in the center circle for Louisville. Helen Camp, Gabera, and back at the Thunder red line, it goes to Keith Tozer. Tozer in the goal area to Petroni. Petroni sends it long. Pisano knocked it away at midfield. Here come the Invaders three on two. Pisano pass behind Kia, taken away by Helen Camp. 
His pass for Cato. And coming up the left side, unmarked is Savick. He shoots just wide to the right. Namoski coming out to cut down the angle, and they send it ahead in the Louisville end for Maurer. Maurer right side. He shoots in the save by Petroni. Rebound kicked back in by Tozer and controlled by Petroni. Outlet short on the right side to Gabera. Drops it back to Cato. Cato, the former Louisville Thunder defender, made the all-star team last year. Midfield circle to Zorin Savick. Savick across the Canton red line, left side of the floor. Pisano on D. Savick with a shot that hit just wide. Tobin fell down, and Helen Camp took the ball away. Moves to the right side on Condrich. Wall pass, no! And a ball blocked out front by Pisano off the shot by Gabera. Namaski had gone down to his left to make the initial play, and Oscar in to mind the net. Tobin across the midfield line, right side at the Thunder red line to Steve Frick with a hat trick last night against Fort Wayne. Now it's Rudy Pekosinski down in the corner working against Glenn Irvine. And Art Kramer up against the right side boards, picked up by Hillenkamp. Kramer's wall pass, Rudy just missed it wide. And it's headed over by Irvine and taken by Hillenkamp. He sends it out off the chest of Tim Tima, knocked away for a second. Now Timmy's got it back. And Timmy trying to get inside of a man. Morabet can't do it. Now it's Frick. Frick looking uh, for some room out by the red line. It comes to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer winds and fires, and Petroni bobbles that one but comes up with it. 8.33 to play in the first half. Louisville 1, Canton nothing. Petroni sends the outlet to midfield, intercepted by Schlotthauer, and it's loose, and Walter scores! Pekosinski took the ball away from the keeper, and Schlotthauer rammed it in the back of the net. The game is tied at 1-1. 12th goal of the year for Rudy P. Time of the goal, 6.36. that for Pekosinski, it's the assist, his sixth assist for Schlotthauer, his fourth goal. And the Invaders have tied it up at 1-1. Louisville with it in their own end, it's Glenn Irvine. And knocked away from him, airborne, and it'll be caught on the fly by Petroni. And Petroni still hanging on to it. And he sends it up ahead, midfield, Caleb Surrey, trying to get around Art Kramer, does. Coming down into the uh, right side is Morabet. Morabet, ball knocked away for a second by Kramer, and Morabet called for holding. That's the first foul on Louisville in the game. The Invaders have three. 7.50 remaining in period one. The clock is moving as Frick comes up the right side of the floor at midfield. Steve Frick is picked up by Sedlicek there, and now it's Tim Tima, and he'll back it up in the penalty area to Namofsky. 1-1 tie. Schlotthauer with a goal for Canton. Sedlicek has the goal for Louisville. Invaders in the line change. Schlotthauer sends it long for Pikasinski. Drops it back to Donnie Tobin. Tobin trying to put a move on Surrey. Knocked it between Surrey's legs. Pikasinski dumps it back to Tobin. Out front, Rudy. Around Irvine. He shoots wide. Nobody home for the rebound. Rudy got it back, but knocked it out of play. And it'll be a goal kick for Louisville. These same two teams meet down at the Broadbent Arena in Louisville, Kentucky. And we have a timeout on the floor with a score. The Canton Invaders won. And the Louisville Thunder won back in just... Back at the Civic Center where the Invaders and the Thunder are tied up at 1-1 with 7 minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first period. Thunder will put the ball in play in their own end. That was an official's timeout. We have television tonight. So they will have one of those in the middle of each period this evening. Petroni with the ball in the goal area on the floor. And he will come out with it now. Maurer takes a step in and backs off, and Petroni sends it forward midfield to Gabera and right back to the keeper, Petroni. Petroni out across the red line. Gabera midfield circle. Condridge and Kia converge on him, and they drop it back to Petroni again. Victor out across the red line, dumps it down in the right corner, and invaded defensive end. Pisano got there ahead of Savick, and Oscar sends it ahead midfield. Left side comes Don Tobin. Don Tobin dumps it in the penalty area, and it's caught on the fly by Petroni. Outlet right side at the Thunder red line to Chris Hellenkamp. Hellenkamp forward for Gabera. Gabera in the Canton end, picked up by Pisano, and his pass is blocked by Kia and bounds across the goal area, and Namoski couldn't get a handle on it and has to tap it out in the side for Don Tobin. Tobin right side, midfield circle for Maurer. Ball was deflected. Maurer got it back, and Cato takes it away for Louisville. Paul Cato, excuse me. And Oscar Pisano out of the arc and coming up across the red line. Bakhtiari stepped in front of Kia and took that pass away. Right side feed to Gabera. Gabera across the red line. Ball knocked away by Kia. 
And they still fight for it. Gabera lost it. Here comes Kia. Invaders attack to an open Maurer. Maurer shoots and Petroni comes out. Kia rebound, pin it wide to the left side. Cato got the rebound and sends it out to midfield. Pisano flags it down there for Kent. Oscar, left side feed to Don Tobin at the red line. Now it's Maurer, the right side, back to the net against Cato. Maurer, wall pass picked off by Petroni. Kia and Tobin coming in after it, but Victor Petroni got it. Petroni trying to direct traffic and cannot find the band he wants open, so he's got to put the ball on the floor and come out again. 5.33 to play first period. The game is tied at 1-1. Petroni has it on the red line. Still looking for somebody, and Victor now will send it into the left corner. Savick on the run there with Condridge. Savick back to the net, bumps it out, taken away by Steve Maurer. Maurer up the right side, stops. Savick knocked it away. Cato sends it forward. Savick got it back for Louisville, knocked away by Tobin. And Savick comes back with it outside the red line. Maurer picks him up. Bad pass taken away by Pisano. Oscar will bring the invaders up. Up the right side comes Don Tobin. Helen Camp on defense for Louisville. Now left side at midfield to Condridge. Tomo working against Savick, sends it forward for Kia. Kia posted up back to the net, taken down by Cato, and the pushing foul will go against Louisville. And that's the second foul on the Thunder. There have been three whistled on the Invaders in the period. Game is tied at 1-1 with 4.52 to play. You're with 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Our broadcast Sunday from Louisville will be on the sister station, 1480 WHBC AM. Kramer knocks it in, Petroni knocks it back out, and it's being chased down the left side of the floor by Gabera. Gabera and Condridge fight for it. Kramer comes over to knock it loose, and Pisano has it for Canton. Pisano, a move around Helen Camp, and a nice one. Another move around Bakhtiari. Oscar into the Thunder defensive end, up against the left side boards, and he's hit into the boards by Gabera, and the team fouls are now even at three apiece. 4.32 to play in the period. Invaders will put the ball in play. Touchline left side, just where the curve of the board start in the Thunder defensive zone. Tomo Condridge will be the trigger man. And he gets it out to Frick. Frick in the left point area. Tima to the right side at the red line. Timmy winds and fires, and it's wide off the boards to the left. Frick after the rebound, got inside Gabera. Wall pass, loose out front, and Cato clears it. And we've got a whistle, though, and they're going to put it in play from the spot because uh, there was a foul committed out front. Savick didn't like it. And Timmy Tima would like to have a penalty shot, I think, but no. They will kick it in from the top of the arc. Kramer, ball blocked. Tima trying to get it back from Savick. And he's able to shovel it over in the right side at midfield to Kondrich. Ahead to pick Kaczynski on the right point. Back to Tomo. 4-10 to play. Tomo dumps it down in the corner. Helen Camp knocks it free there. Cato get around Tobin. And it's a two-minute penalty coming up on Kondrich for tripping. Cato had gotten around him, and Tomo got the leg out. And Cato went down, and Louisville will go on the power play. Time of the penalty will be 10.54 as Condrich goes off for tripping. Invader penalty killers have had some difficulty in the early part of the season, only 50%. Six of 12, the Louisville power play has had it even rougher, though. They have not scored yet in eight power play opportunities on the season. Penalty killers for Canton are Kramer, Tima, Schlotthauer and Frick. Tima, the captain, having a conversation with Anton Popovich, the official. I think that they say that the foul was committed in the box at this end, and they felt they should have gotten a penalty shot, but they didn't give it to him. Power play unit for Louisville, Gabera, Helen Camp, Savick, Irvine, and Sedlicek. Thunder to go on the power play for two minutes. We have 4.06 to play in the first period, and the game is tied at 1-1. Kia wanted to step in for a second, but he will not. Now Pisano will come in, and, and now Pisano steps out, and Antonio comes in to kill the penalty because Kondrich, who would normally be on the shorthanded team, is in the box. Savick will bring the ball up for the Thunder as we're underway with the first power play of the ball game. Irvine left side now right side feed to Zoran Savick. Savick winds and fires and scores. And just like that Louisville gets their first power play of the season just 12 seconds into the man advantage. Savick will get the goal. And I imagine it'll be Irvine on the assist time of the goal 1106 and the Thunder leads two to not two to one.
for Savick. It is goal number five on the season for Irvine. His first assist, his first point of the year. Two to one, Louisville. The power play goal, the Invader penalty killers still have their problems. That's the first power play goal scored by Louisville all season. Invaders now will try to tie it up. 3.50 to play in the first quarter. Tima sends it long in the Thunder defensive and left side for Frick. Frick backs it out to Kramer. Kramer had it knocked away by Surrey, but Frick got it back. Frick working against Mahalik, and now Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside. Surrey does. Dumped in. Pekosinski knocked it out front, and it was cleared away by Irvine. And knocked away into the invader end, and in front of everybody, and Domofsky scoops that one up. Outlet, left side midfield for Walt Schlotthauer. Two to one, Louisville. Schlotthauer wants Kramer in the right corner. He's got him, ball loose. Surrey comes away, deflected by Pekosinski. And that's the fourth foul on Canton as the trip will go against Rudy. So now the invaders have to be careful again. They only have one more foul to give and 3-10 to play in the period. Petroni outlet, right side at midfield to Surrey. Ball knocked away by Kondrich, but Surrey got it back. Now deflection by Schlotthauer and it's taken by Moribet and back to Irvine, left side at midfield. Right side it comes to Mahalik. Mahalik and knocked it off the boards. Pikasinski took it away for Canton. Rudy on the move around Irvine. He shoots, he scores! Rifle that one into the left corner. And the game is tied at 2-2. For Rudy, it's his 12th goal of the year, and the Invaders tie it up. Time of the goal, 12-14. Unassisted goal for Pekosinski, and we're tied at 2-2. Here's Gabera, left side, into the corner. Savick working against Pisano. Kia, the double team. Kia took the ball away, and then he got grabbed by Savick. Fouls are even. They get it up quickly to Maurer at midfield. Back to Ari is back on D for Louisville. And so is Tozer. Maurer, right side. He shoots, and it's scooped up easily by Petroni. 2.25 to play in the first quarter. Savick, left side at midfield. Double team by Pisano and Maurer, and Savick comes up to the left side of the floor. In the corner, Hellenkamp with a shot, kick save and a beauty by Namofsky. And the outlet comes to Tobin. Tobin backs it away from Zorin Savick as Maurer clears by. And he dumps it back left side to Kondrich, now right side to uh, Pisano. And now they change that. They'll give an assist on the Pikasinski goal to Steve Frick. Kramer comes flying in, lost control of the ball, and Petroni got it. So give Frick an assist. Here comes Tozer up the right side of the floor for the Thunder. Tozer, Kia with him, step for step, takes it down into the right corner. Tozer looking for a feed, and he dumps it out front to Savick. Savick looking inside, ball deflected by Tobin, taken by Kramer. Artie was tripped, and that is the fifth foul, sixth foul on Louisville. And Savick with a little extra push after that, but the Invaders will go on the power play. A minute 37 left in the period, so mark down your time of the penalty is 13.23. And the Invaders will have their first opportunity. Two-minute penalty will be served by Caleb Surrey. And the Invaders penalty killers, uh, or rather power play unit, 64%. That's tops in the league. Nine of 14. The Louisville penalty killers have been outstanding. They're number one in the league, too. 89% penalty killing. Only two goals allowed in 18 attempts this year. Here come the Invaders with a man advantage. A minute 33 left in the period. Tobin, right side, Pisano fires. It's blocked by Bakhtiari and taken away. And here comes Gabera on the run up the floor for the Thunder. Gabera gets around Pisano. Well, a centering pass knocked away by Pikasinski and controlled by Namofsky. There's more time in the penalty than there is in the quarter, so we'll just keep you track with the quarter time. Pisano, right side, middle of the floor to Don Tobin. Minute nine in the quarter. Toby, right side to Oscar. Invaders trying to take the lead. Left side, it comes to Schlotthauer. He passes up the shot, drops it back to Tobin. 58 seconds in the quarter. Right side feed to Oscar. Pisano, back to Tobin, middle of the floor. Toby feeds left side. Walter winds and fires. It's blocked out front. Schlotthauer got it back. 47 seconds to go. 
Tobin, edge of the midfield circle, across the red line, feeds right side, Oscar, he fires and knocked it in the cheap seats. It'll be a goal kick for the Thunder with 41 ticks remaining on the first period scoreboard clock. And a minute three left in the penalty. Kia, Pikasinski, Tobin, Pizzano, and Schlothauer are your power play unit. Tozer, Bakhtiari, Savic, and Gabera are the penalty killers. The outlet pass is picked away by Pizzano. Tobin drums it back to Namofsky ahead to Don Tobin. Billy comes out to the red line. 31 seconds left in the quarter. Tobin, he lets it go. Wide off the boards, and it hit high off the top of the boards. Comes all the way back to midfield. Schlotthauer has to dump it back to Namofsky. 20 seconds to play in the quarter. Invaders in the power play were tied 2-2. Right side feed to Pisano. He fires it in. The wall pass is picked off by Petroni. 12 seconds. Long lead intercepted by Pisano. Nine seconds. Oscar... Trying to get around a man. Five seconds. Speeds through the box. No. Three seconds. Schlotthauer shot. No. Pikasinski deflection. No. And the quarter ends. So we end the first period at 2-2. The Invaders will have 32 seconds of power play. At the start of the second period, we'll take a timeout. The score, Canton 2, Louisville 2. listening during our next broadcast when I might call your name to be our contestant. Bob, after one quarter of play in high school basketball, it's Boardman 17. In between the third and fourth quarter, you have a shot and you click many games and Okay, thank you, Dan. 17-13, Boardman on top there. Invaders in the power play. For the first 22 seconds of the period, Kia drops it back at the Canton Red Line at Tobin, and here we go. 17 seconds as Pisano crosses the red line. Back to Tobin. Tobin, right side to Oscar. 10 seconds. His shot wide. Rebound loose, and Petroni just does pounce on that. It hit him in the back of the shoulder and almost went in, and then it hit the post and came back out. Two seconds, one. The penalty is over, and Tozer clears up the right side. Tozer on the dead run. Sends it high off the boards, and it goes over the glass and out of play. Invaders will put it back in. We play 28 seconds of the second period. And the game is tied at 2-2. WHBC FM 94, Canton, Ohio. Sunday, we will be on the air on sister station, 1480 WHBC AM. Airtime will be 525 from Broadbent Arena in Louisville. We invite you to be with us for that one next Wednesday in Tampa Bay. Next Friday night, the Invaders are at home against the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Oscar Pisano out of the Invader defensive end, and he sends it forward for Maurer. Maurer working back to the net, right side in the Louisville end. Back out at the red line, middle of the floor to Tobin. Right point to Pisano, down in the corner it comes to Maurer. Maurer looking for some help, finds it outside in the form of Pisano. Pisano across the floor for Tobin. Tobin has to dump it back to midfield. Kondrich on the run there, and they'll drop it back in their own end to the keeper, Namofsky. Namofsky ahead to Kondrich. Right side to Pisano, Oscar across the red line, forward for Don Tobin, trying to get inside Surrey, and Toby has to back it up away from the boards, and back it comes to Pisano. Pisano, airborne for Maurer, tried to head it in for Kia, but Irvine got there and bounced it into the keeper, Petroni. Petroni grabs it, holds on, long outlet left side at the Canton red line, and coming away with the ball is uh, Morabet. Morabet lost it, though. Maurer's deflection is controlled by Kondrich for the Invaders. 13-33 to play in the first half. We're tied at 2-2. Tobin right side to Kondrich. Tomo a couple of steps forward. Now left side at midfield to Kia. Kia dishes back in the Canton defensive end to Oscar Pisano. Pisano forward for Tobin. Bounced up in the air. Pisano heads it ahead. And Maurer trying to cut between defenders. Can't do it. The ball squirts into the goal area and again grabbed by Victor Petroni. Petroni outlet on the left side it comes to Mahalik. And now Glenn Irvine. Irvine right side at the Thunder red line. Sends it forward. And it is uh, Morabet back to Surrey. Surrey had it picked away by Kondrich ahead to Tobin. Tobin, left side at midfield to Kia. Kia across the midfield circle. Louisville red line, dumps it in the corner. And Petroni out to knock it away. And he hits it over the glass and out of play. Invaders will kick it in from the touchline right side, just outside the arc. 
And both teams will change lines during this timeout. 12.44 to play in the second quarter. The game is tied 2-2. In the first quarter, Milwaukee and Memphis are scoreless. Tampa Bay leads Toledo 1-0. Here it's 2-2, just uh, underway early in the second period. Kramer will put the ball in play. Artie playing midfield on this line with uh, Celestin banged up. Frick and Pikasinski to forward. Centering ball loose. And oh my. Bakhtiari did a good job to shield Rudy away from that. Long lead for Savick. He's open. And Namoski with a gem at the other end of the floor to take it away from him. So both goalkeepers do some work. Kramer, bad pass taken away by Gabera. Here come the Thunder. They'll attack three on three. Gabera, he fires, blocked by Kramer, and it's over the glass and out of play. Corner kick from the left side coming up for Louisville with 12.21 on the clock. Frick, Pikasinski, Kramer, Schlothauer, and Timu for Canton. Bakhtiari, Tozi, Tozer, Gabera, Helen Camp, and Savick for Louisville. Helen Camp will be the trigger man from the spot in the left corner. Gabera clears through the box. Helen Camp. Out front, Tozer winds and fires. It's blocked by Tima and controlled in the goal area by Namofsky. Billy diving to his left and pouncing on that. Outlet short on the right side comes to Kramer, who touches it right back to Namofsky. Now Tima in the arc. Tima out across the Canton red line. Forward for Pikasinski. Pikasinski working on Saeed Bakhtiari. There's a good matchup. Wants Frick out front. Frick and Tozer fight for it, and Fricky posted up, backs it out to Tima. Tima, ball deflected by Gabera, taken by Savick. And the lead ball for Gabera is intercepted by Schlotthauer. And it's a good thing because Gabera may have had a breakaway if Walter doesn't get to that one. Right side midfield for Steve Frick. And Frick will dish it back at the Canton red line. Namoski taps it forward for Schlotthauer, left side of the floor. Walter sends it long for Rudy Pikasinski. Off the right side boards at midfield to Tim Tima. Tima, red line, right uh, left side feed rather to Kramer. Kramer had the ball deflected by Savick, and here comes Zoran Savick up the right side of the floor into the Canton defensive end. For Helen Camp, he shoots, and Namofsky comes up with a honey of a save. Billy getting his hand on the ball to deflect it wide. Savick has the rebound outside, centering ball through the box. Savick's rebound shot no, and the outlet comes out to Rudy Pikasinski. Frick clears to the left. Frick got behind Tozer. Frick looking wall pass Rudy. Ball knocked away by Tozer, and it's cleared out to midfield, and Savick has it there for Louisville. Savick, ball for Gabera, blocked by Schlotthauer, and Frick's got it at the red line, back to Tobin. End to end action here, 10.48 to play in the half. Both teams running like deer. Schlotthauer winds and fires, it hit Helen Camp in the back. Schlotthauer and Surrey fight for it, and Schlotthauer will get whistled for the dangerous play. Coming up with a foot in, a little high on Caleb Surrey. That's the first foul on either team in the second period, and we've played almost four and a half minutes. Tozer drops it back in the goal box for Petroni. And Petroni will come out of the penalty area with it. Victor, midfield. It comes to Murabet. Murabet and Tobin fight for it. Murabet spins to the middle of the floor, leaves it for Savick. Savick backed up, ball deflected by Kondrich. Savick got it back, Rudy deflected it. Kondrich got it back for the invaders. Kondrich attacks up the left side. Tozer sliding play, didn't get it. Rudy dumps it in the corner. Kondrich trying to clear out front. Ball knocked away, and Frick in a race for it. And Gabera finally ends up with it at the red line for Louisville and drops it back to Keith Tozer. 9.59 to play in the second period. Game is tied at 2-2. Keith Tozer drops it over on the left side to Glenn Irvine. Irvine ahead at midfield with it is Sedlicek. Sedlicek drops it over to Murabet. Now Tozer, now Irvine. Irvine still at the Louisville red line, long in the canton end. And the ball knocked in. Namoski knocked it back out off the attempted pass by Thomas Hayes. First action he's seen. Sedlicek, left side, he shoots wide. Rebound controlled by Pikasinski, and Namofsky falls on it in the goal area. Short outlet, right side to Tomo Kondrich. Kondrich out across the Invader red line. Midfield, now Kia. Kia drops it off the right side boards. Kondrich trying to get inside Sedlicek up the right side. Wall pass loose, knocked away by Irvine. And Hayes has it at the uh, Thunder red line. Coming up the floor with it for Louisville is Morabed and Kia picked him clean Morabed grabs on no call now he'll get it it was the second time he held him when he got the call the first one was the one that prevented the breakaway team fouls even at one apiece Kondrich with it at the Canton red line 
Once Maurer on the right side, back to the net against Cato in the Thunder defensive zone. Maurer dribbles out front to Tobin. He fires, and a good sliding defensive play by Murabet to block that. Maurer shoots and scores! Up in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, what a beautiful play by Steve Maurer. The Invaders take the lead 3-2. 623, the time of the goal. For Maurer, it's his fourth goal of the season. And we'll wait a minute on the assist. Pisano. Pisano gets the assist. Maurer gets the goal. There's a timeout on the field. 8.37 to play in the first quarter. Canton 3, Louisville 2. Have the lead for the first time tonight on the Steve Maurer goal and the Oscar Pisano assist. Scoring for Canton tonight, Schlotthauer, Pikasinski, and Maurer. For Louisville, Sedlicek and, Sav and Savick. Savick is on the floor now along with Gabera, Helen Camp, Tozer, and Bakhtiari. It's Frick, Pikasinski, Kramer, Schlotthauer, and Tima for the Invaders. Kickoff dropped back to Tozer, Thunder red line, right side midfield, ball knocked away by Condridge, taken by Frick. Frick on the attack, sends it long, Tozer heads it up in the air, it goes over the glass and out of play. Kramer was open, clearing up the left side of the floor, he had gotten behind Helen Camp. Tozer did a good job to deflect that ball out of play, or Artie might have had a break up the left side. As it is, Artie will have a corner kick from the left side. Frick clears through the front of the box, but the referee has not put play in. Now we're ready to go. Pikasinski looking out front. They drop it to Tima. Now Kramer. His pass is blocked by Savick and sent ahead for Helen Camp and the Thunder on the move. Helen Camp. Lead ball. It's Gabera. And Namofsky with a sliding play to knock it away from Jim Gabera. Schlotthauer ahead. Frick heels it back for Pikasinski. Rudy right side against Tozer. Rudy heels it to an open. Kramer. He shoots just wide. Frick with a rebound. No. And Helen Camp controls it out front for Louisville. And Schlonhauer with a sliding play, but he knocked it right to Hillenkamp. Now Gabera, now Hillenkamp, middle of the floor. Knocked into the corner for Bakhtiari, but Tima got there first. Tima sends it ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy dishes to Frick in the midfield circle. Invaders attack four on four. Frick stops at the red line. Bakhtiari backs up on D. Now Kramer, midfield line on the right side. 7.40 in the half. Artie across the red line, feeds right side, and Tozer got in in the corner. And Keith Tozer will come out with it for Louisville. Tozer on the run, up the right side. Tima back on D. Tozer, wall pass. Savick shoots and scores. And the game is tied 3-3. Savick with a goal. Tozer will get the assist. Time of the goal, 7-34. Savick's second goal of the night. And his sixth overall on the season for Keith Tozer. His second assist of the year. End-to-end -end action. It's like two teams in basketball running fast breaks all night. And they get it from one end of the floor in a hurry. And we've had a lot of scoring. It's been tied three times now. We'll take a timeout. 7.26 to play in the first half. Canton three, Louisville three. Howard, Pikasinski, and Maurer have found the back of the net for the Invaders. Louisville has led twice, 1-0 and 2-1. Canton led once at 3-2, and we've been tied three times. Same two teams go at it down south at Broadbent Arena on Sunday. We'll have that on 1480 WHBC AM. Pisano lead ball ahead for Kia. Kia trying to get inside Mahalik in the corner. Cut off on the boards. And Kia will retreat back to midfield with it. Launches it in the left corner. Maurer back to the net against Cato. And it's taken by, Schla uh, by uh, Kondrich. And now Cato has it for Louisville. Cato pushes it forward across the midfield line. And it's Sedlicek. Sedlicek on the left side drops it back to Mahalik. And now Cato in the midfield circle. 6.52 to play in the first half. Cato across the red line. Feeds it on the right side to Mahalik. And Mahalik back over on the left side to Murabet. Murabet dumps it down. And uh, Namofsky will get there first. Outlet comes to Kondrich. Kondrich, red line, middle of the floor, Tobin. Tobin sends it ahead on the right side for Kia. Kia, man for man, with Mahalik off the boards to himself, and Petroni cut off the pass and sends the outlet ahead, and coming up the floor with it is Sedlicek. Sedlicek across the midfield line, left side, he shoots. Nomofsky comes out with a save. 
Kia heads the rebound out. Mahalik sends it back in, but Namaski catches it on the fly. Long lead for Maurer. Maurer around, and Cato is back on D. Maurer working on the right side, trying to get some help. And he finds Condridge clearing unmarked up the left side. He winds and fires, and Petroni comes up against the right side post for the save. Outlet comes ahead to Tom Hayes. Hayes midfield. Dishes back, and it is... Uh, Sedlicek up the left side of the floor. Sedlicek back to Zoran Savic. Savic has a pair of goals already tonight. Midfield circle for Cato. Cato on the right side to Mahalik. Mahalik dishes down for Savic in the right corner, working back to the net against Kondrich. Savic, ball pass knocked away. Kramer got it, but Se uh, Helen Camp got it back. Frick with a deflection. And there are three invaders converging around the ball. They knocked it right in the knee of Helen Camp. And now Pisano comes out with it. Taken back by Gabera. He shoots, he scores. It hit one post, it hit the other, and went in the net. Louisville leads 4-3, time of the goal, 9-38. For Gabera, it's goal number six on the season. And I'm going to have to wait and see if they give an assist on it. So the Thunder back up on top, 4-3. They give an assist. Helen Camp will get the assist. That's his fifth assist of the season. And the Thunder back out on top now, four to three. Invaders on the attack and Bakhtiari with a steal. Ahead to Savick, 5-10 to play in the first half. Savick through the midfield circle, working on Schlotthauer. Around one, he shoots, Schlotthauer with a block. Helen Camp got it back, Savick feeds and Helen Camp again. Helen Camp feeds it in the goal area, deflected away. Tima controls for the Invaders. 4-3 Louisville, 4.53 to play in the first half, and it is Walt Slaughter up end-to-end -end running. Ahead for Steve Frick. Frick on Gabera now cuts across the field, and Tozer picks him up as Fricky crosses the red line. Frick takes it down to the corner. Wall pass, nobody home out front, and Gabera has it for Louisville. Gabera stops at the Thunder red line, backs it up, and coming up is Helen Camp up the left side of the floor. Now Tozer at midfield. 4.26 in the half. Tozer takes it back to his red line. Frick comes up on him, and they'll feed it back in the box for the goalkeeper, Petroni. Petroni will come out with it. Forward for Helen Camp. Off the right sideboards for Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari shovels it ahead at the red line. Left side for Gabera. Gabera and Tima fight for it there. And it goes back in the Louisville end for Tozer. And Tozer back in the box again for Petroni. Petroni sends it long at midfield. Now Helen Camp has it. In the invader defensive end in the right corner is Savick. Savick centering pass deflected off the heel of Schlotthauer and controlled by the keeper, Namofsky. Outlet short on the right side to Rudy Pikasinski, now Tim Tima. And back ahead to Rudy, right side at midfield, back to Tima at the Canton red line, 3.40 and a half. Tima, long lead ball for Kramer. Kramer and Helen Camp in a foot race, and it goes into the goal area where Petroni gathers it in. Outlet for Gabera. Gabera knocks it back to Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari picked up by Maurer. Off the boards for Helen Camp, taken away by Tobin. Tobin out front, Maurer looking for a feed, and he shoots, it's loose. Rebound, Pikasinski can't get it in. Gabera and Rudy fight for it in the corner. It comes out front, Savick and Tima fight for it there. Down goes Savick, and the foul call goes against Tima. Coming up the floor with it is Gabera, knocked away by Kondrich. Savick got it back, and he has it in the midfield circle. Two fouls on Canton and one on Louisville in the period. Tozer with the ball between the midfield line and his own red line. Under the watchful eye of Rudy Pikasinski, and now he'll back it up in the goal area for Petroni. Louisville four, Canton three, 2.50 to play in the first half. Tozer again, now back again to Petroni. And Petroni will come out with it. Victor across the red line. Stops, backing up, and sends it airborne into the left corner in the Canton defensive end for Savick. Savick and Tima fight for it there, and Tima comes away with the ball. Tima out across red line on the right side. Now midfield is, it, is Tobin. Here comes Kondrich. Kondrich into the Louisville end, 224. Ball knocked away from Maurer. Gabera clears, and Namoski out of the net to knock it away from Savick. Namoski out to midfield ahead to Tobin. Tobin dishes back at the Canton red line to Pisano, and they'll set it up again. Pisano, edge of the midfield circle, right side point, Kondrich. Maurer loose out front, back to Yari, knocked it out of play. It'll be a corner kick from the right side for the Invaders with 2.06 to play in the first half. Canton trails 4-3 to 
And Louisville will take advantage of this timeout to get a line change in. It's Irvine, Mahalik, Hayes, Sedlicek, and Moribet for the Thunder. Maurer, Kia, Pisano, Condridge, and Tobin for Canton. Toby to put the ball in play from the right side. Toby sends it airborne for Kia. Kia shoots, rebound, knocked wide. Kia follows, and it goes in the seats. And that caught somebody right in the side of the head. And it'll be a goal kick for Louisville. If you sit in the ends of the stadium, folks, keep your eye on the ball at all times because you never know when it's going to come flying up there. The goal kick comes with 2.03 to play in the half. And the Invaders trailing 4-3. to Petroni in the goal area will pick it up. Wanted to throw it long. Now he'll come out with the ball on the floor. Petroni sends it ahead for Hayes. And Condrich stepped in front of the pass. Tomo up the right side at midfield. Ball taken back. And Maurer will get whistled for the foul. Team fouls even at two. Uh, rather, it's three fouls on Canton. One on Louisville. Excuse me. Irvine to put the ball in play. Left side at midfield. Minute 46 to play in the first half. 4-3. Thunder lead. Irvine sends it in the corner for Hayes. Hayes right side back to the net. Dishes it out front for Mahalik. Back to Hayes. Hayes and Condridge fight for it, and it goes in the goal area, and Namoski comes up with it. Outlet for Maurer. Right side at midfield. Irvine up on him, and back in the goal area to Pisano. Pisano for Tobin. One touch right back to Oscar. Minute 26 to play in the first half. Pisano picked up by Sedlicek. Now ahead to Maurer. Maurer working on Irvine. Leaves it for Kia on the right side. Kia a couple of steps in. Shoots and the rebound. Bounces off the chest of Irvine. Controlled by Petroni. Long lead for Sedlicek. Namoski out of the net to knock that away. And Tobin drops it back out front for Pisano. Minute seven in the period. Pisano for Tobin. Tobin at the Invader red line and has to back it up. And now Oscar. Middle of the floor at the Canton red line. Sedlicek picks him up. 57 seconds in the half. Oscar tried to clear it for Maurer, but it was wide to the right and out of play. Louisville will put it back in play in their own end. Irvine to do the honors. Invaders will change lines. Pikasinski and Frick will be your forwards with Kramer at midfield and Tima and Schlotthauer on defense. Louisville will also change lines. Savick, Helen Camp, Gabera, Tozer, and Bakhtiari are the five men on the floor for the Thunder. It's been a wild and woolly first half. Thunder leads 4-3 with 56 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Third quarter tonight is our contest. If you've mailed your cards in, be listening. Bakhtiari puts it in play. Gabera and Schlotthauer will get whistled for the push. That's the fourth foul on Canton. Louisville to put it in play. Touchline right side in the Canton defensive zone. Savick steps over. Tozer with a shot, and it was deflected and just corralled. Before it was going to bounce into Mosky, grabbed it. I think Tima got a piece of that to slow it up. Kramer with it at midfield, lost the ball. Here comes Savick off the feed by Helen Camp. Savick around the left side. He shoots. It's blocked by Tima, and Frick comes away with it for Canton. 33 seconds in the half. Frick taken down by Bakhtiari. That should be two minutes, and it is. Bakhtiari will get the two minute tripping call with 31 seconds to play in the first half, and the Invaders will have a power play opportunity. Time of the penalty will be 14-29. Bakhtiari goes off for tripping. And the Invaders will have 31 seconds of power play in this quarter. And if they don't score, they'd have a minute 29 at the start of the third. Louisville controls the kickoff at the start of the third, so, so they would be able to choose some time off of that power play. Penalty killers are... Hayes, Tozer, Mahalik, and Gabera. Pikasinski dumps it in the corner. Tozer trying to clear it away and does. 20 seconds left in the period as Namoski corrals it in the Invader defensive end. Invader power play, same five we're used to. Schlotthauer, Pisano, Tobin, Pikasinski, and Kia. 11 seconds in the half. Pisano winds and fires. Wall pass comes out behind Kia. Six seconds as Schlotthauer gets at the midfield line. Four seconds, three, two, Schlotthauer fires, and what a honey of a save by Petroni at the buzzer. That's the end of the first half with a score, Louisville four and Canton three. And we'll be back with... Uh...
Wednesday night down in sunny Florida and Friday night here at the Civic Center against the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Power play unit, Schlonhauer, Tobin, Pekosinski, Pisano, and Keo on the floor. Penalty killers are Hayes, Gabera, and now Cato out there with a shorthanded team along with Tozer. Petroni is in the net to our left for Louisville. Namoski is in the net to our right for Canton. Thunder, they drop the kick back to Tozer. Tozer dumps it down in the invader end. Schlotthauer will control there. A minute 20 left in the penalty as they bring it out of their own end. Through the midfield circle comes Don Tobin. Halftime, Milwaukee 2, Memphis nothing. Shot up into the crowd by Pisano. First quarter, Chicago leads Fort Wayne nothing. And halftime, Tampa Bay on top of Toledo. One to nothing. Scores from the rest of the league. Goal kick for Louisville with a minute 10 left in the penalty. And the invaders will put some high pressure on this to try to keep it in that end and give themselves more time to work with a man advantage. But Petroni will just dump it out to midfield. Gabera and Pisano in a race there, and it hits Oscar and goes into the invader bench. Louisville will put it back in play, 45 feet up the floor from where they just did. That took three seconds off the clock, a minute seven remaining in the Canton power play. They'll drop it back in the goal area to Gabera. Gabera knocks it around Kia, and it hits off the knee of Gabera and then is hit uh, by Schlothauer, and Tobin now has it in the midfield circle. 54 seconds in the penalty. Toby winds and fires. Go the rebound knocked out. Schlothauer dumps it in. Rudy couldn't get the header. It's knocked back out on the right point to Pisano. 44 seconds in the penalty. Middle of the floor to Don Tobin. Toby, right side feed, Oscar winds and fires, rebound off the foot of Pikasinski into the corner for Kia. Now Schlothauer, 33 seconds. Pizan, or rather Tobin, middle of the floor. Pikasinski posted up, Schlothauer back to Toby, 25 seconds. Tobin winds and fires, rebound, score by Pikasinski! Pikasinski scores off the rebound from Tobin and it's tied 4-4. Rudy gets his second goal of the night. He leads the league in scoring. He's got 13 goals on the season and six assists. Time of the goal, 109. Power play goal for Canton. And the Invaders lead, or rather tie it at 4-4. One for two on the power play for Tobin. It's his eighth assist of the year. That leads the league. Kickoff headed away by Schlotthauer, taken by Frick. Frick working against Mahalik. Hayes over for the double team. Back it up at midfield, right side to Tim Tima. Now Pikasinski on Irvine. They tried to get the wall pass. Rudy dumps it back out at the red line to Kramer. And Schlotthauer, midfield on the right side to Tima. Now it is Kramer at the midfield stripe. Dumps it in for Pikasinski, trying to get inside Irvine. Irvine comes out of there with the ball. 13-20 to play in the third period, tied up at 4-4. Irvine ahead for Sedlicek. Sedlicek lost his balance on the boards. Frick tries to clear, but it's knocked back by Murabet. And now back at the Thunder red line, Mahalik has it there. Lead it ahead for Hayes. He got around Tima. Hayes, wall pass, knocked loose out front. Schlothauer did a good job controlling that rebound and dumping it back into the keeper, Nomofsky. Billy with the outlet short on the right side to team captain Tim Tima. Tima, red line, working on Hayes. Now middle of the floor to Kramer. Kramer on Morabet drums it down in the Louisville defensive end. It's Pikasinski there to Kramer. He's open, and Frick scores! Kramer with a feed to Steve Frick, and the Invaders lead 5-4. to four. Now let's see if Fricky touched that or not. They might give that goal to Kramer. The time of the goal is 2.21. Give the goal to Frick. Give the assist to Kramer. Steve Frick, sixth goal of the year. He had a hat trick last night. For Art Kramer, it is assist number four on the season. And in the first two and a half minutes, the Invaders score two. They take the lead five to four. And that brings this crowd at the Civic Center up to its feet. 12.33 to play in the third quarter. Petroni outlet red line right side to Tozer. 
Tozer on Steve Maurer. Middle of the floor, ball knocked away by Kia, and he's got the trip call as Tozer went down. And that's the first foul of the period on either team. Goes against Canton. Kia with the trip on Tozer. 12.25 to play. The Invaders have the lead, 5-4 on two quick goals. One by Pikasinski, one by Frick. Tozer to put it in play from the edge of the midfield circle. Looks it long for Savick. Savick and Pisano fight for it in the right corner. Tobin over, over, over to double team. And they get it back to Oscar. Oscar hit from behind by Savick. And the foul. And Savick's going to get two for kicking the ball in the face of Pisano. Stupid play by Zoran Savick. No other way to describe it. Just plain stupid. He was asking for two minutes and he got it. Time of the penalty, 2.44. Play was over, and Savick just swatted the ball through the goal area, almost hit Pisano in the face, and the Invaders will go back on the power play. 10 of 16 in the year, best in the league, and they're up against the best penalty-killing unit in the league in the Louisville Thunder, 89% coming into the game. Gabera, Hayes, Bakhtiari, and Tozer to kill the penalty. Kia, Pikasinski, Tobin, Schlotthauer, and Pisano the power play unit for Canton. Tobin across the midfield circle. Red line, right side feed. Oscar shoots. Rebound comes out. Back to Yari. Clears to Pisano. Pisano to Rudy. Rudy to an open Kia. And it's loose in front of the net. And you've got a fight. As Gabera just plowed over Pikasinski and Petroni. Comes up to have something going on. Now they'll back him up. 50-50 ball. Anybody has a right to it. They'll call a foul, I think, on Rudy for bumping into the keeper. Petroni, very lucky he didn't draw two minutes for throwing the ball. Very, very lucky he didn't draw two minutes for throwing the ball at Pikasinski. I don't think they saw it. I think if they had seen Petroni do that, he would have gotten two. Minute 44 left in the man advantage. And Louisville will put the ball in play in their own end. 12 minutes to play in the third quarter. They'll put it in play out in front of the goal crease. Tempers getting a little hot here, and you got to expect that in a big game like this. Both teams want to win it very badly. That's going to be a three-line violation as Petroni sends it way too long, and the Invaders will put it back in play from the Thunder red line. Invaders lead 5-4. They're on the power play. Tobin at the spot of the red line. Left side, Schlotthauer. He fires. Rebound behind Kia. He has to dump it back out to Pisano. And it'll be cleared all the way back at the Canton end to Namaski. Now Tobin. Tobin out across the midfield line. A minute 28 left in the penalty. Schlotthauer winds and fires. It goes high up off the glass. Pisano went after the header. Didn't get it. Bakhtiari comes away with it. Now Pisano took it away. Hayes with a deflection for Louisville. Clears it out, and Tobin will get it back on the right side at midfield. A minute 12 in the Invader power play. Tobin across the red line, right side feed. Oscar, Oscar back to Toby. Toby looking underneath. Rudy posted up. Schlotthauer fires. Rudy with a heel. No, Kia. Oh, he hit the post. Kia hit the crossbar on the rebound shot. He had Petroni beat and couldn't find the net. 52 seconds left in the penalty. Here comes Tobin. Tobin winds and fires, and Petroni gathers that one in. Long lead for Hayes up the left side of the floor. Hayes inside the Invader red line. Pisano picks him up on D. 39 seconds, the man advantage. Louisville will choose some time now. Hayes backs it up at midfield. Now off the boards for Gabera. He shoots it wide, and it squirts over the glass and out of play. Canton will get it back in their own end with 31 seconds left in the man advantage. 10.47 to play in the third quarter. Invaders lead 5-4. In what has been a wild, wild soccer game. And the people are getting their money's worth tonight. This has been a dandy. Two good teams, and they're really putting on a show. If you want to sell somebody on indoor soccer, this is the kind of a game you bring them to. Outstanding action by both ball clubs. Here comes Don Tobin, red line. Rudy posted up. Tried to reverse the shot. Tozer blocked it off the chest. Bakhtiari has it for Louisville. 18 seconds left, and it's taken away by Rudy. Rudy for Kia. Kia lets Gabera clear by. 12 seconds in the power play. Tobin right side feed to Pisano. Pisano back to Toby. Eight seconds. He feeds and the ball knocked away by Hayes. 
Tobin gets it back, but that's going to kill off the penalty as they have to shovel it back to Namoski. The power play expires, and Savick comes back on the floor for Louisville. Tobin winds and fires wide off the post, and Kia just missed the rebound. Long lead for Savick, breaking up the right side of the floor. Tobin back on D. Savick shoots Namoski with a point-blank save. Savick went after the rebound, and the foul will go against Kia. That's the third on Canton in the period, one on the Thunder with 10 minutes left to play. Again, the Invaders have to be a little weir wary of the six-foul rule now. Lots of time. They can only give two more in 10 minutes. Savick to put the ball in play, right side of the Canton defensive end. Invaders lead 5-4. to four. Savick dumps it in, loose off the boards. Gabera's rebound blocked by Tima. Loose in the header by Gabera goes into the stage. And Tima, stunned by that shot, is still down out in front of the Invader net. And they'll bring the trainers on to take a look at Tim Tima. Steve Morris out on the field. Timmy falls down. Not sure exactly where he took that shot, but when Tima goes down, you know it was a lick because he's as close to indestructible as I've seen. 9.55 to play in the third quarter. Last score we had had McKinley up over Boardman, 48-42. Tima is up and will walk off under his own power. And we would expect to see him back on the next ship. Oscar Pisano comes in on defense. Tom Condridge will join him. The forward line is Rudy Pikasinski, Steve Frick, and Art Kramer. For Louisville, it's Hayes, Sedlicek, Murabet, Irvine, and Mahalik. Namoski coming out of the goal area with it. Billy out across the red line. Stops, he's unmarked. Namoski sends it for Kramer, header through the box. Knocked out front, Sedlicek heads it middle of the floor, but Frick gets it back to Kondrich. Kondrich knocks it away from Sedlicek to Pisano. Pisano being hounded by Hayes, drops it back in the goal area for Bill Namoski. 9.26 to play, third quarter. Namoski for Frick at the red line and right back to Billy. Namoski comes up close to the midfield circle, sends it long in the right corner, and it's too high out of play. And Louisville will put it in play with a goal kick. 57-47 with 6.40 left in the game. McKinley leads Boardman 57-47. 9.16 to play here in the third quarter. The Invaders lead the Thunder 5-4. Irvine to put it in play for Louisville to Petroni in the box. Petroni will pick it up. And the long outlet right side at midfield is knocked away by Pisano. Pisano up the left side, and he's ridden off the ball. Oscar got it back. Around one, around two. Ball deflected by Irvine, taken back at midfield by Kramer. Kramer approaches the red line, working on Murabet. Kramer to the right side. He shoots the rebound to Pikasinski. He to Kramer. He to Frick. Frick on the left side. Couldn't pull the trigger. And Fricky looking for a feed. Fricky fires and right into the chest of Petroni who grabs it and holds on. Outlet comes out to Morabet. Morabet feeds left side at midfield and coming up with it is Irvine. Irvine across the invader red line picked up by Frick. Irvine with a move. Frick with a trip and that's going to be the fourth foul on the invaders. Tripping call on Steve Frick. Referee came very close to pulling a two-minute card on that one. And to be honest, I, I really wouldn't have disputed it if he had. Four fouls on Canton, one on Louisville, 8.34 to play third quarter. Invaders lead 5-4. This is WHBC-FM Canton. Mahalik, red line being hounded by Steve Frick and backs it up to midfield and now all the way back in their own end to Petroni. Petroni sends it too long. Three-line violation coming up against the invaders and they'll send it back to the red line Kramer will put it in play there Artie surveys the situation dumps it to Frick Frick working on Irvine in the right corner Frick facing the net back out to midfield on the right side to Pisano Pisano back in the Canton end to Namoski invaders nursing a one goal lead Louisville led by one at the half Steve Frick left side at midfield to Kondrich ball knocked away by Hayes, but Namoski flags it down in the Canton end. Namoski forward for Frick, one touch over to Pisano, clearing up the right side. Pisano trying to get inside, Sedlicek in the corner, spins, looking for a feed out front. Oscar sends it high, off the glass in the left corner, 
And it's headed out by either Frick or Hayes, and they say Hayes touched it last. So the Invaders will kick it in. Officials call time with 7.47 in the quarter. We'll keep it here. In all the flurry of that scoring, I forgot to mention that our contestant, Lisa Gonzalez, is a winner. So we stay perfect on the contest. Lisa of Uniontown, you win the two tickets to a future Invader home game. $10 towards lunch for two at the Tavern in the Tower and the handsome coffee mug from United Bank. I'm sorry I didn't get to that earlier, but uh, in the course of this game, we just had to keep things going. Lisa, you are a winner. We keep our record perfect on that. And if you would like to do it. thousand people through the turnstiles on the 19th will get a free click clicker so your kids can drive you nuts for the next two days 747 to play in the third quarter the invaders lead five to four and Tobin will be the trigger man on the corner kick from the left side Tobin feeds it to Condrich he fires down into the right corner Maurer has it there Maurer and Cato fight for it and Cato with a deflection ahead to Gabera Gabera clears to the midfield left side Gabera, ball deflected off the heel of Kia, taken back by Maurer. Maurer heals it back for Tobin. Tobin to Kia and back to Pisano. Oscar, right edge of the midfield circle. Now Tobin and back to Pisano at midfield. And he'll dump it back in front of the goal arc to Bill Namaski. 7.21 to play in the period. Namaski, hounded by Savick, but finds Kondrich open on the left side at midfield. Kondrich across the Thunder red line. He shoots. Rebound. Maurer shoots right into the chest. Maurer got the rebound again. Tozer knocked it away. Tobin got it back for Canton. Headed away by Tozer. And Kondrich gets it. Midfield for Pisano. Off Oscar's chest. And he takes it back inside the Canton defensive end. 6.56 left in the third period. Here is Tobin for Maurer. Back to the net on the right side. Tobin dumps it off the boards. Wall pass. Knocked away. Oh, did Maurer and Petroni collide out in front. Foul goes against Maurer. Petroni hasn't gotten up yet. That's the fifth foul on Canton and an awful lot of time left in the period. 6.48 left to play. The next foul Canton commits would give Louisville the power play. Petroni has not moved. He may be out cold. Petroni went down like a sack of potatoes. And I do not see A.J. Lakowiecki. Now Petroni's up on his knees. Well, he and Maurer really, really collided into each other. That was as hard a hit as anything you'll see in an NFL defensive secondary. Petroni's up on his knees, the trainer attending to him. And he will remain in the game. So that's good to see. Victor Petroni is all right. He is one outstanding goalkeeper. And he's given up five goals tonight, but he's played awfully well. Namaski's given up four, and he's played awfully well, too. Keith Tozer out across the red line. Off the right sideboards for Savick. Savick for Hellenkamp. Hellenkamp dumps it down, and Savick shot, headed away by Kramer. Cato got inside, wall pass, no, loose out front, followed by Hillenkamp, blocked by Kondrich. And Kia tries to clear to midfield. Tozer's got it in the midfield circle for Louisville. They'll attack again. Tozer winds and fires, and it's loose out on the left side. Kramer tries to clear to Maurer, but Hillenkamp dumps it back. Pisano gets it there, rolls it in for Namaski. Namaski grabs it and holds on just before Zoran Savick arrives in the neighborhood. 6.09 to play in the third quarter. Invaders lead 5-4. They trailed 4-3 at halftime and got two goals in the first two and a half minutes of this period. And the pace has slowed up a little bit. Schlothauer with it as the invaders use this opportunity to change lines. 
Schlothauer and Timo on defense. Walter drops it back in the defensive end to Namoski. Gabera comes over to contest the invader goalkeeper. Back to Schlothauer, back to Namoski. He had trouble with that, and he's out of a double team and does get it away to midfield. Cato will flag it down to the Thunder, and bad pass taken by Frick to Rudy. It's behind him, and Hillenkamp clears. Cato up the middle of the floor, across the midfield circle. 5.25 to play in the quarter. Cato pass blocked by Tima, or rather blocked by Frick, taken by Tima, and Tima is pushed by Hellenkamp. That's the second foul on Louisville in the period. The Invaders have five, and they've got to be careful. Long lead, Kramer got anxious on the shot and knocked it halfway up in the upper deck. And it'll be a goal kick for Louisville. 5.14 left in the quarter. Our next broadcast, Sunday night, 7, or rather 5.25 airtime from Broadbent Arena in Louisville on Sister Station, 1480 WHBC AM. 5-4, the Invaders lead the Louisville Thunder. Petroni will put the ball in play. Dumps it over to Irvine, who taps it back in the box, and Petroni scoops it up. Long lead, midfield, coming down with it is Hayes. Hayes into the Canton defensive end. Hayes out front. And the shot by Murabet is blocked out of play by Kramer. Louisville will kick it in. Touchline right in the Canton defensive zone. Invaders by one, five to four. They'll kick it in from the corner spot. Murabet centering ball. It goes behind Mahalik and all the way out to midfield. Irvine flags it down there, former Invader. Irvine. Looking for Sedlicek. Sedlicek, who played for Milwaukee, centering ball blocked by Kramer. Sedlicek gets it back. The ball knocked away by Pikasinski. And Namoski dives on the loose ball in front of the net. Outlet on the right side to Tima. Tima coming up. His pass hits a man. And coming back the other way for Louisville is Murabet. Murabet on Tima in the corner. And Frick over to double team. And that's the sixth foul. Push against Tima. Louisville will go on the power play. Time of the penalty will be 10-28. As the Invaders draw the sixth foul penalty in the third period. Louisville scored on their only power play opportunity of the night. It's their first power play goal of the year. The Invader penalty killers will have a job to do now. Two-minute man advantage for the Thunder. Invaders scored on their power play in this period to tie it, and then Frick put them ahead uh, about a minute and 10 seconds later. And that's where we stand, 5-4 Canton with 4.32 to play in the period. 5-4, Invaders with the lead, Louisville with a man advantage. Irvine, Savick, Sedlicek, Helen Camp, and Gabera are your power play team. Condrich, team of Frick and Kramer, the penalty killers. Irvine, rifled shot blocked by Tima. Rebound, controlled by Kramer, now Tima knocks it ahead. Irvine tries to clear and is taken back by a Savick at midfield. Minute 45 left in the penalty. Savick to the red line. Posted up. Helen Camp knocked it in the cheap seats. And it'll be a goal kick for the Invaders with 4-11 in the quarter and a minute 40 left in the Louisville power play. Invaders will try to use this time to chew up some penalty time now. Namoski to Tima. Back to Namoski. Billy scoops it up. And a long, high lead, and somebody walked all over the back of Frick. Savick will commit the third foul by Louisville in the period, and the Invaders will put the ball in play from just outside the Louisville red line. 67-51, McKinley leads Boardman with 2.51 left in the game at the Fieldhouse. Frick, double team, gets away from both of them, trying to move, and he can't get the shot away, but Frick chewing up some time, leaves it for Condridge. Condridge lost it to Hillenkamp. Ahead to Gabera. Minute 19 left in the penalty. Irvine at the Thunder red line will come out with it, and the Invaders back up and play deep. Savick through the midfield circle. A minute 11 left in the penalty. Savick across the Canton red line. Sedlicek in the right corner. Back to Savick. Shot wide. Rebound. And a save by Namovsky and a beauty off a bullet by Helen Camp. Kramer sends it to midfield. Irvine gets it there. 54 seconds left in the penalty. Right side it comes to Sedlicek, and the pass knocked away by Tima. Tima clears it ahead for Kramer, and it's taken back by Savick. 43 seconds. Savick around one. Once the left-footed shot, he fires wide, and Namoski pounces on the rebound off the wall. 
34 seconds left in the penalty. Namaski still hanging on. Long lead for Steve Frick up in the air, headed back by Irvine, but it lands in section 15 of the stands. And the Invaders will control at midfield with 27 seconds left in the Louisville power play. 2.57 remaining third period. They dump it in the Louisville end for Frick. Frick trying to get away from Irvine. Savick steps in front. He and Frick fight for the ball. Kramer to double team, but Savick backs away from the two. 15 seconds left in the penalty. Savick through the midfield circle. Across the Invader red line. Right side, Sedlicek knocks it in the stage. Goal kick Canton with nine seconds left in the penalty, and they should ju just about be able to kill the remaining time on the goal kick. Namaski and Tima will execute the play. And the penalty killers go out for Canton. Tobin and Kia are back in, along with Pisano and Condrich and Tima. And Louisville will pull part of their power play team out as well. Irvine and Savick and Helen Camp and Gabera stay in, but Hayes is back on the floor. Goal kick Canton. 2.40 left in the quarter and nine seconds left in the power play. Bill Namoski sits the ball down in front of the goal mouth. And Tima will just launch it long for Pisano at midfield. Pisano off the boards, but he knocked it right in the invader bench and right into the teeth of Steve Moyer. And Louisville will have five seconds left of the man advantage. Moyer still has the warm-up on and may need attention from the trainer. Now he's all right. 235, four seconds in the penalty. Savick will take one shot. It was deflected. In the corner, follow no. Rebound, Hillenkamp. And Pisano with position. Hillenkamp shoots. Namoski with a save. Penalty is over. Pikasinski out of the box with a deflection. And he takes it away. Here come the invaders with a break, but there's a foul on Pikasinski. They get Rudy for the trip. Savick took a dive and got the call. Rudy didn't come close to touching him, but got the call because Savick did a good job with the dive. Power play is over, though. They kill it off. 2.17 left in the quarter. Savick puts it in play. Gabera missed the pass. Kia coming up the right side. Irvine sends it back in the Canton end. And it's corralled in there by Namofsky. 2.06 to play in the third quarter. Invaders hanging on to a one-goal lead. Namofsky ahead for Kondrich. Right side at midfield. Tomo back to the keeper, Namofsky. Minute 55 left to the quarter. Billy out across the red line. Gabera comes up to apply pressure. Namofsky sends it ahead. Helen Camp sends it right back out. And it's Hayes up the left side. Hayes forgot the ball. Maurer gets it to Kia. Kia coming up the right side of the floor for Tobin. Tobin, red line of Louisville. Directing traffic. Minute 38. Tobin feeds right side to Kondrich. Kondrich wall pass picked off by Petroni. Petroni. Wanted the pass to the left side. Instead, we'll put the ball in play and just dump it ahead short to Irvine. Irvine, right side at the Louisville red line, minute 20. Gets around Maurer. Irvine to the Canton red line. Tobin picks him up there. Irvine shot Namoski with a save. And Pisano clears ahead for Don Tobin. Tobin had the ball knocked away. And it's controlled now by Zoran Savick. A minute four left in the quarter. Savick, ball knocked away from behind by Kia. Here come the invaders. Kia trying to get around a man. Ball knocked away. And Mahalik will clear it back to the goalkeeper. Petroni sends it ahead for Irvine. Back in the retreat. And Petroni, forward it comes for Morabet. Morabet back to Irvine again and again as Petroni in the goal area. Petroni, outlet midfield. Morabet drops it back to Irvine. 40 seconds in the third quarter. Savick, red line. Ball knocked away by Pisano. But it's taken back. Sliding play by Maurer to knock it away from Irvine. But Mahalik was there for Louisville. 28 seconds in the quarter. Sedlicek, red line. Kia deflected it, but Sedlicek got it back. And it's Mahalik in the left point, 20 seconds. Mahalik dumps it in. Sedlicek on the run. Kondrich has position and comes out with the ball. Ahead to Maurer. Maurer ahead for Tobin. 12 seconds in the quarter. Tobin with Kia. Cato from behind. Tobin controls to Maurer. Seven seconds. Maurer winds and fires in the save by Petroni. Maurer looking for another one. Three seconds. Tobin to Kia. They won't get the shot off. That's the end of the third quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders five. The Louisville Thunder four. We'll be back in one minute. He's had their problems here. Everybody has. It's been over a year since the Invaders last lost a game here. That was to Milwaukee on November 22nd of last year. The last team to win here before that was this Louisville team that week before. 
Final score, McKinley defeats Boardman 80 to 65. 80 to 65, your final. McKinley over Boardman. So the Bulldogs go to 2 and 0 on the season. And the Invaders control the kickoff to start period number four. They have a one goal lead as we get things going. Kramer down to Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to get inside Tozer, but the ball bounces into the goal area, and Petroni grabs it and holds on. Petroni sends it ahead for Helen Camp over to Bakhtiari. Saeed forward for Savic. Back to Bakhtiari, and now Tozer left side at midfield. Tozer, ball knocked away by Pikasinski. Bakhtiari flags it down in the thunder end. Ahead it comes to Zoran Savic. Savic slips and falls and loses the ball as Condridge clears it ahead to Steve Frick. Frick through the midfield circle, picked up by Tozer at the red line. Frick blows right around Tozer, and the ball taken away by Bakhtiari. Frick trying to get it back, but Savic gets it, and the whistle and a foul. And Frick will get whistled for the trip. That's the first team foul on either club here in the fourth quarter. Bakhtiari sends it ahead, midfield circle for Hillenkamp. Long lead for Cabrera, shot no. Kramer is there to send the rebound out. And it's cleared out to midfield, left side where Bakhtiari gets it back for the Thunder. Off the boards for Helen Camp. Helen Camp trying to get around Kramer. They go stride for stride. Helen Camp launches a shot up against the right post. Namoski grabs it and holds on. Art Kramer, right side in the Canton defensive end. Artie out to the red line, sends it long for Pikasinski working on Tozer. Pikasinski is hauled down. Tozer slams him into the boards. And that'll be this first foul on Louisville. Rudy wanted two minutes. Last night, if you were close to the boards and got fouled, you got two minutes. Tonight, not the case. Team fouls even at one apiece. 13.40 left in the game. Invaders lead by one. Kramer centering pass. Pikasinski hauled down by Tozer. That's going to be a penalty shot. It should be. Tozer pushes pick. Oh, they called it on Rudy. They called it on Rudy. Tozer pushed him off and knocked him down and they call it on Rudy. That should have been a penalty shot if somebody had the guts to call it. 5-4, Invaders with a lead. Slothauer taken down by Helen Camp and the team fouls are even at two apiece. And now activity, whistles blow on the other side and Rudy having a chat with the one referee and I think we've got things calmed down now. We've had four fouls already, and we have played just barely over a minute and a half. 13-27 left in the game. Invaders lead 5-4. Two team fouls on each club. And Sonhauer sends it ahead for Frick. Frick at the Thunder red line. Now back at the Canton red line to Tima. Tima right side ahead to Tobin. Tobin dumps it in for Rudy, and that's two minutes on Tozer. Tozer gave a textbook lesson in tackling, and he will sit down for two. The Invaders go to the man advantage. They are one for three in the power play tonight. This penalty comes at 1.43 of the fourth quarter. Tozer gets two minutes for holding at 1.43. And the Invaders will try to extend the margin to two goals. Gabera, Bakhtiari, Cato, and Hayes will be the penalty killers for Louisville. Kia, Pikasinski, Schlothauer, Tobin, and Pisano, the power play unit for the Canton Invaders. Pisano drops it back to Don Tobin, middle of the floor at the red line. Left point to Schlotthauer. Back in the middle to Tobin. Now on the right side to Oscar. Oscar in the corner. And he'll back it up to Tobin again. A minute 48 left in the power play. Tobin, right side to Pisano. Pisano, back to Tobin, middle of the floor. Toby, right side to Oscar. Oscar, back to Tobin. A minute 37 left in the penalty. Kia posted up front to Schlotthauer. And back to Tobin, who's up to the midfield circle. Tobin comes into the red line, minute 29. Right side to Pisano. Pisano to Kia. Kia posted up out front, and back it comes to Tobin. Tobin winds and fires. Rebound deflected out by uh, Petroni, and it's knocked out of play by Hayes. 
Invaders will put it back in play with a minute 18 left in the penalty. And 12.33 to play in the game. Canton leads by one, 5-4. Pisano will put it in play. Drops it back to Don Tobin. Tobin, red line. He fires, and Petroni comes up with a save. Petroni, long lead for Gabera. Hits him in the heel. He's got to chase it back. Dumps it into Cato. Cato on Pikasinski. And he dumps it to the Canton red line where Pisano controls. One minute left in the penalty. 12-16 in the game. Here comes Tobin to Pikasinski posted up. Now Key is working down by the goal mouth. And Tobin with it, middle of the floor. Toby winds, fires, hits Pikasinski in the rump. And they clear it ahead. And you've got Hayes coming up on the break at the other end. Hayes shoots and scores! Short-handed goal for Louisville. Ties it 5-5. Five, five. Time of the goal, 3-0-2. Thomas Hayes gets his third goal of the year. And Louisville ties the game at 5-5. Unassisted for Hayes. And the Invaders have 40 seconds of power play to work with to try to get back in the lead. Petroni had the ball bounce off his knee. Pikasinski trying to get around back to Yari. Does out front to Pisano. Left side to Schlothauer. Walter. Thought about the shot, but instead feeds Tobin. Now right side Oscar, 25 seconds. Pisano working on Bakhtiari out front to Tobin. Tobin right side to Pisano. He fires into the corner, and it hits the top of the glass and goes out of play. And with 17 seconds left in the penalty, Louisville will have uh, a kick in. It's not a goal kick. It went outside the flag. So Cato will put it in play. 11.33 left in the game. We're tied 5-5. Long ball, and Pisano able to flick that away from Hayes in the Canton defensive end. Schlothauer dumps it back in the penalty area for Namoski. Namoski comes out with it to Don Tobin. Only five seconds left in the penalty as Tobin crosses his own red line. Ahead to Schlothauer, back to Tobin. The penalty's over. Tozer's back out on the floor, and Tobin has it at midfield. Schlothauer shovels it down in the corner. Back to Yaria and Kia fight for it there. Now Pikasinski for the double team. It's bounced in the goal area. Petroni rolls the outlet to Hayes. Hayes got the shorthanded goal to tie. Deflected by Pikasinski. Bakhtiari sends it up in the air. And uh, Tozer and Schlothauer fight for it. Kia, the double team. Over to Pikasinski. Back to Walter. He winds and fires wide. And out front, Pizzano with a deflection. It's good by Rudy! Pikasinski the goal. Pizzano the assist. The Invaders take the lead 6-5. Time of the goal, 417. That's another hat trick for Pikasinski. Now wait a minute, they give the goal to but that's not right. I think that should be Rudy's goal, but we'll see. They said it was deflected by a Louisville player. I don't know. I think that bounced off Rudy. We'll wait and see on, the, on that goal. Tima clears it out of his own end. And Mauert has it for Canton. Mauer dumps it over to Key. We'll see if we get a final ruling on that. I thought Rudy deflected that in. And so did just about everybody else up here, but we'll see. It was hard to see from this angle might have hit I, I it may have hit a louisville player but i think it hit i think i think it still hit rudy too namoski out across the red line invaders lead six five namoski long ball and petroni has to deflect that out of play because kia was waiting for the rebound corner kick for the invaders 10 4 to left in the game the invaders lead six five kramer Ball for Kia, knocked away by Irvine. Schlothauer has it at midfield, and he'll dump it back in the Canton end to Namoski. They're going to leave it, Pisano's goal? We'll check on it. Sedlicek sends it ahead, and Morabat lost it. Oh, in the goal area. Petroni just got to that before Kramer did. Outlet to Irvine, left side at midfield. Irvine winds and fires, and Namoski comes up big in the invader net. 
to deflect that one over the glass and out of play. Pikasinski was getting hand slaps all along the Invader bench there. We'll wait and see on that. I'm still not sure on that goal. We thought Rudy deflected it. Wait and see. They make it Pisano from Tobin on the goal, so we'll leave, make that official. Pisano, his fifth goal of the season. Tobin gets his ninth assist. Louisville will put it in play from the right corner. 4.17 the time of the goal. Invaders lead 6-5. Now we have 9.42 left in the game. Helen Camp, the trigger man, to Gabera. His shot blocked by Kramer. And they dump it back into the Louisville end where Petroni has it at the red line. Petroni, left side at midfield to back to Yari. And now back to Victor Petroni. Nine and a half minutes to play. Invaders lead 6-5. It's been a dogfight. It's been exactly what we expected. A great soccer game. Petroni. Sends it long for Tozer. Tozer centering pass, knocked away by Tima. Kramer in a foot race with Helen Camp, but the ball bounces over the glass out of play. Invaders fan club president Carol Leave caught that one and throws it back in play. And the Thunder will put it in play. Touchline right side on their own side of midfield. Savick back for Helen Camp. And Cabrera working with it. Back to Zoran Savick in the Canton defensive end. To Cabrera, right side of the box. Cabrera looking in on Schlothauer. And Pikasinski with a steal. Rudy may have a breakaway. Rudy up the left side of the floor. He shoots. He scores. There's the hat trick for Rudy. The Invaders lead 7 to 5. the goal 603 Rudy Pikasinski his second hat trick third hat trick and it's unassisted and the invaders lead by two seven to five with 857 left in the game Rudy with a steal he just picked Gabera clean unmarked up the left side and drilled it past the helpless Victor Petroni Pikasinski with a steal again Tima has it in the invader end knocked away by Helen Camp Savick comes up Tima with a nice play to knock it loose Savick gets it back. Hounded by Tim Tima up against the left sideboards. Timmy comes away with it. Timmy gets around Helen Kemp. Dumps it in the goal area for Namaski, who covers it up. Eight and a half minutes to play. Lead up the left side at midfield for Art Kramer. Gabera is there to pick him up. Kramer drops it back at the Canton red line to Walt Schlothauer. Invaders by two, 7-5, their biggest lead of the night. Biggest lead anybody's had tonight. Pisano backing up in his own end. Spin move around Gabera. Now back up in the goal area for Namaski. Namaski trying to get around Gabera. He's got a problem. Namaski sends it long. It'll be a three-line violation. Billy just had to get rid of that in a hurry because he had a double team. Helen Camp for Tozer. He fires through the box. Savick couldn't get to that pass. Maurer clears it out. Bakhtiari keeps it in, but Maurer with a stretch move dives. You may have Kia on the break. Kia behind Tozer. Tozer with a good deflection. They both go down. Tozer's hurt. But we'll keep playing. Savick comes up. Maurer knocks it away. And now timeout will be called as Keith Tozer hanging on to that left leg, and he's in an area where it could be a hamstring. Keith Tozer went down in a heap after that collision. It was a 50-50 ball, and they kind of bumped shoulders. They both went down. 7.47 left in the game as they attend to the injured Keith Tozer. Now another key here with Tozer being injured is if they pull Petroni for a sixth attacker, most of the time in the past, the sixth attacker we have seen from Louisville has been Keith Tozer. Now, a couple of times last year, I think Alioto did it, but Alioto is now the head coach and player of the Fort Wayne Flames. There's a timeout on the field as they attend to Keith Tozer. Both trainers from each team are out there taking a look at him. Steve Morris from Canton and the Louisville trainer both taking a look. Seven forty-seven. The fans chanting, "We want eight, meaning we want eight goals." They've got seven now. The dressing room. They have put a splint on the ankle. That doesn't automatically mean it's broken. They can do that as a precaution. But the way they were feeling, now some jerk threw a soccer ball onto the field, and we'll have to get that taken off of there. 
before we get to play again. And we're just about ready to get it underway. We'll have a drop ball on the right side at midfield. And it squirts up in the air, and Mahalik comes down with it for Louisville. Back to Irvine. Irvine almost had it taken away by Maurer, but Glenn with quick feet able to keep control. Irvine winds, fires, Namoski with a save. Follow through the front, headed away by Sedlicek, and then headed out by Kondrich. Maurer clears. Here comes Tobin on the break, and they whistled it dead. Holding foul against Louisville. And that's the third foul on the Thunder in the period with the Invaders leading 7-5 and 7-29 remaining in the game. Canton with a two-goal lead. Pikasinski with a hat trick. <laughs> Tell you what, Rudy Pikasinski voted by the fan club as the player of the month, and he has been outstanding. He has three goals and an assist tonight. His season point total is up to 20, and that'll put him comfortably in the league lead unless Valencia uh, overheats the scoreboard in Chicago. And the Shockers had scored one in the first quarter. And Namoski tried to clear it ahead for Kia and knocked it out of play. So Louisville will kick it in. 7-18 left. At the Thunder red line, Irvine to put it in play from the left side of the floor. Irvine sends it ahead. Tobin tried to intercept, didn't get it. Sedlicek, ball taken away by Pisano. And Pisano around one, around two, ahead to Maurer. Ball's too far. And it's controlled by the Thunder. Morabet with it. Kareem Morabet. And the ball taken away by Maurer again. Maurer trying to get around to Hayes and has to turn and back it up to Kondrich. Now Pisano, 6.53 left. Tobin to Pisano. Pisano backs it away from Sedlicek. Namoski ahead for Kondrich. Kondrich, red line on the left side. And try to get it ahead to Kia. Pass was deflected. Irvine forward for Sedlicek in the midfield circle. Thunder on the attack. They try to get it in the corner. No one home there for the Thunder. Kondrich clears. And it bounces shy of the red line. Petroni out to retrieve it there. Petroni passes around Kia. Left side for Sedlicek. Sedlicek inside the Canton red line. Clears to Irvine. Irvine winds and fires and hits it over the glass out of play. It'll be... A kick in for who? I think now they said Namoski touched it. No, he it, it, it did not. They give it on the goal kick to Canton. Well, he gave the touch sign and pointed at Namoski, but, but no, I guess he meant it hit the glass and went out. 6.21 left of the game. And it will be interesting to see now if and when Louisville decides to go with the sixth attacker and who it would be. Six twenty-one remaining. Namoski to Tima, back to Namoski. Billy picks it up, puts it on the floor, and he'll come out with it himself. Outlet short on the left side to Schlotthauer, back to Namoski, and Billy pushes it up on the right side to Tim Tima. Tima forward to an unmarked Schlotthauer, back to Yari to pick him up. Schlotthauer got behind him with the ball. Walter looking for a feed, ball knocked free, and coming up with it at midfield is Gabera. They'll attack two on one. Savick on the left side. He shoots no. Rebound controlled by Pikasinski. Rudy touches it ahead for Kramer. Kramer left side around one man at the red line. And here come the invaders three on two. Kramer fires and knocked it in the stage. Schlotthauer was coming up inside Cato and team and uh, Frick was open up there. Somebody sloughed off on D that time to give the invaders the three on two because they didn't have it when Kramer got control of the ball. But as the guys broke up the field, it became a three on two because somebody didn't get back. Petroni with the ball in the goal area, 542 left in the game. Petroni will come out with it. Ahead it comes to Helen Camp at midfield. Helen Camp dumps it down on the left side in the Canton defensive end. Savick had a funny hop off the wall and he couldn't control it. Namoski rolls it ahead to Kramer. Kramer with Helen Camp on D, dishes back to Tim Tima in front of the arc. Tima sends it forward for Pikasinski. Rudy with back to Yari ahead to an unmarked Tobin. Tobin had Frick wide open, but Cato made a great play to knock the pass away. Here comes Savick the other way. Savick ball deflected by Tobin and taken by Pikasinski, who steers it in the goal area for Namoski. Namoski will put the ball on the floor and leave it for Tim Tima. 5.04 left in the game. Tima up the right side of the floor. Gabera with him. And Tima knocks it in the goal area. Petroni controls there. Victor Petroni outlet, red line left side to Cato. Ball Cato forward for Zoran Savic and Frick tried to knock it away and Kia controls. Kia 
Around one, Schlotthauer open, he shoots, it's loose, Schlotthauer, Frick, oh, he missed the wide open net. Nobody home out front and he missed the open net. 4.36 left in the game. Coming the other way is Helen Camp. Helen Camp, bad pass behind Sedlicek and Frick knocks it out of play. Louisville will kick it in from the right corner with 4.31 left. Petroni was 12 feet out of the net down here and Cato would have had to dive to make a head save on it. And Walter just flat out could not find the net. You're not going to get too many opportunities like that. And Walter doesn't miss him very often, I'll tell you what. But they still lead by two, seven to five. I'll tell you what, that's about the first thing Schlotthauer has done wrong all night. He's played very well. They send it through the goal area. Sedlicek and Pisano fight for it, and they clear it out to midfield to Irvine. On the right side with it is Mahalik. Mahalik. Dumps it in, Sedlicek, ball deflected by Pisano. Sedlicek chases it down at midfield to Irvine, taken away by Kia. Maurer on the break. He got around his man, Petroni, but Irvine comes up with a loose ball. Irvine dumps it back in the goal area. Petroni scoops it up. 4.05 left in the game. Ahead of the midfield circle, it comes to Hayes. Hayes to Mahalik. Mahalik with Kia back on D. And Mahalik moves laterally across the midfield stripe, dishes over to Morabet. Morabet, Pisano had it knocked away Sedlicek and Pisano draws the pushing foul team fouls even three of e three each and Louisville will put the ball in play from the red line 348 left to play if they're going to go to a sixth attacker they better do it pretty soon Irvine launches it airborne and Hayes with a turnaround shot but Kondrich had very good defensive position and Hayes didn't have much on the shot Namaski puts it on the floor, ahead to Tobin, touches it back to Pisano. Pisano moves away from Sedlicek, and Oscar will take it ahead himself, pushes it up for Maurer. Maurer trying to get inside Mahalik, 3.26 left to play. Maurer, spin move, ball deflected by Hayes and taken by Sedlicek and taken back by Maurer. Maurer takes it down in the corner. Kia open out front, wall pass. Kia had trouble controlling it, dumps it over to Kondrich, he's open. Kondrich winds and fires, and Petroni comes up with a save. 3.07 remaining. And timeout called by Louisville, and that may be the last we see of Victor Petroni. Let's see who's got the goalkeeper's shirt on. Bakhtiari. The Invaders scored a goal against the sixth attacker unit from Fort Wayne last night, and they almost got another one. And I, you wonder, I do not know how much they have worked with Bakhtiari in goal. That could be a weak link. We'll see if the Invaders can exploit it. 3.05 left. The key is, though, you don't want to give up any. Bakhtiari comes up with the ball. Three minutes left in the game. Bakhtiari. In the corner for Sedlicek on the right side. Back out of the point for Savick. Now back to Yari. Now Savick winds, fires, rebound. Helen Camp. Ball knocked away by Kondrich. And they fight for it in the corner, and Kia comes away with it. Kia, ball taken back by Helen Camp. Kia and team and Frick double team. And Frick trying to spin around, and Helen Camp got it back again to Savick. And it's Gabarit and Irvine. The pass was behind him. He's got to chase it back to the Louisville red line. 2.28 left in the game. Invaders by 2.75. Back to Yari in the midfield circle. Saeed. Underneath, Tima blocked the pass. Pikasinski tried to clear, but he knocked it up into the girder work. And Louisville will put it in play. He tried to get it up in the air, and he got it too far up in the air, and it hit one of the girders in the roof. Under the ground roll here, Louisville will put it in play at the red line. 2.18 left in the game. 7.5 our score. Invaders lead. Right point, Savick working on Rudy. Back in the middle of the floor to Bakhtiari. Saeed in the corner. It goes to Sedlicek. Back to Savick. Back to Bakhtiari. On the left side it comes. Helen Camp clears it out on the point to Irvine. Ball taken away by Frick. Knocked back by Kia. Pikasinski to Frick to Kia. Invaders on the attack. Kia lets Savick clear. And tries to move between a couple of guys. Here comes Rudy. Rudy up the left side. He feeds it through the middle. It's loose. And Kia with a shot wide to the left side. Minute 47 left in the game as the Thunder regains control. Savick coming up the other way. Invaders try to put it away there. Couldn't quite find it, but a minute 39 left, and they still lead by two. 
Bakhtiari across the red line, a minute 35. Ball deflected by Kia, but it comes in the corner. Savic and team will fight for it, and Pikasinski trying to steer it away. <laughs> He's trying to carry it in with his feet into the goal area. Tima sends it long. It's a three-line violation. And we'll come back to the Canton red line with a minute 21 left. Rudy was on, sitting on his rear end on the floor, had the ball between his ankles, and was trying to crawl back into the box so Namofsky could pick it up. I'm not 100% sure that's legal. Here's Kia with a steal. Over to Kondrich. Kondrich sends it way over everything, and that one scattered the troops in the stage. And that'll be a goal kick for Louisville with a minute 13 left in the game. Offensive star, Rudy Pikasinski. Defensive star, Namofsky. I'll agree with that. McKinley won tonight, 80 to 65 over Boardman. Minute 10 left in this one. Invaders lead by 2.75 as Bakhtiari clears it ahead. Red line right side to Savick. Savick looking inside on Kramer. Now Helen Camp. He shoots. It's blocked by Kondrich. Irvine gets it back at the red line. 57 seconds left in the game. Savick out front. Helen Camp in the corner. Sedlicek knocked it over everything. And the Invaders will put it in play on their own end with 51 seconds left. Canton, 51 seconds away from going 6-1. and one. These same two teams will be hammering away at each other again Sunday night in Louisville. Don't miss it. Airtime on 1480 WHBC is 525. Have that one on your radio. Team a long lead for Frick. Frick heads it up in the air. Tries to head it over the head. Bakhtiari gets it back. Frick gets it back. Helen Camp knocks it from behind. Kia trying to get inside. Bakhtiari with a deflection. Helen Camp sends it out to Gabera at midfield. 36 seconds left to play. Gabera with Kondrich on D. Tomo slides to knock it away, but Savick gets it back at the red line. 30 seconds in the game. Bakhtiari ahead for Savick. He winds, he fires, rebound behind Gabera. Kia ahead to Kramer. Kramer got around Helen Camp. Kramer, ball knocked away by Gabera. 18 seconds left in the game. Gabera drops it over to Sedlicek. Savick around one. Can't get the shot. Now he does and scores. With 11 seconds left in the game, Louisville cuts it to one at 7-6. Savick will get the goal. Time of that goal is 14-49. And we'll wait on the assist. The Invaders should be able to dump it back and kill off the remaining time. Only 11 seconds left. Sixth attacker goal narrows the gap to 7-6. Well, they give the goal to Helen Camp. It's sent back in the invader end, and Tima collides with Sedlicek. Tima will get the foul with six seconds left, and Louisville will have a chance. It's just outside the box. Savick to put it in play, six seconds. Out front, Irvine fires, it's deflected. Four seconds, three, shot wide. Kondrich clears, one second, it's over. Oh, they're gonna give him a shot with one second. They're going to give him a court, or are they? They're going to give him a corner kick with one second left. It is not quite over. On the Louisville goal, Helen Camp from Savick. One second left. So Louisville will have one gasp. Helen Camp, they score! Helen Camp to Gabera. We're going to overtime. You gotta be kidding. Helen Camp to Gabera. And we go to overtime. Louisville ties it 7 7. Two sixth attacker goals. Time of the goal, 14.59. Tim Tima is upset. They're claiming that the time ran out. But we go to overtime. <laughs> Louisville will start the overtime with Irvine, Mahalik, Hayes, Murabet, and 
Sedlicek. It'll be Kia, Maurer, Tobin, Condrich, and Pisano for Canton. Invaders will control the kickoff. They will defend the goal to our left. The Invaders will attack the goal to our right, which is the stage end of the Civic Center. Crowd ready to go. And we're ready to start the overtime period. Sudden death. First goal wins it. They send it long for Maurer. Maurer has a break up the right side. Off the boards, pass deflected. Maurer wants to center. Out to Pisano. Pisano put it in the stage. Goal kick for Louisville. 14.51 left in the first overtime. If we don't score, then we'll keep going. We'll play until somebody scores. Invaders look like they had this thing put away, but Louisville comes back. Two sixth attacker goals in 11 seconds. Petroni with the ball in the goal area, puts it on the floor. He'll come out. Petroni across the red line, right side of the floor. Petroni sends it long for Sedlicek in the corner in the Canton end. Kondrich knocks it out of play. Louisville will put it in, touch line right side. Glenn Irvine will handle that short. Irvine. Now oh, they'll let uh, Irvine fly. Oh, and he hit the crossbar off that play. Kia trying to come away with the ball. Sedlicek knocked it away. Sedlicek and Kondrich collide. And it's knocked back out to uh, Mahalik. And in the midfield circle, it is Glenn Irvine. Irvine sends it ahead for Hayes. Hayes back to the net against Pisano. Ball taken away by Tobin. Trying to get it ahead to Maurer. It's dumped down on the Louisville end. Irvine in there for it. Irvine turns and will come back out. Pushes it over to Mahalik, right side at midfield. Mahalik, and the ball sent in, knocked away by Pisano. Pisano around the boards. Mahalik knocked it away. Condridge controls in the box for Canton. His pass off the foot of Mahalik, and uh, taken back by Murabed, and now it's Hayes with it. Hayes, sliding play by Tobin to knock it away, and the foot race with it. It's bounced down in the Louisville end, and Petroni controls in the goal area. 13.38 to go in overtime.